to take. That blasphemy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, just to reach this place. To retrieve the divine source. I know God will forgive for what I do. I do for the greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. This is, hmm, particularly odd. Has elements of Scythian design, but it looks like a... No, n not possible. General, we observe something strange in the night. We are camped above the city of Gatesh as the city prepares for invasion. They still believe the attack will come from on high. They will not expect your charge from the paths on the far side of the valley. But I must tell you, on the tower at the heart of the city, something unnatural awaits us. We watched hundreds of armored soldiers ascend its heights, and then a light cracked the sky. There was a sound that froze my blood, a roaring like an army of hungry ghosts. Then the men descended again. I do not know what they keep atop that tower. We thought it a treasure, but it appears to be something else entirely. buy you some time. I'll see you on the other side. <sighs> the chain. 
chamber of souls. The divine source has to be there. Looks like the way into the city center is through that gate. I have failed. There will be no pardon for my sins. I have drenched my hands in blood in pursuit of the Prophet, and now there is nothing left. As the attack became a siege, the Prophet's people did the unthinkable. They turned their weapons against the glaciers and buried their own city. Mongol and the Prophet's people alike were crushed in the ice. The Khan and his warrior horde are dead. The people of Katesh are broken and scattered. I alone survive in the frozen heart of the city, and my only companions are the deathless army of the Prophet, their eyes aflame with unholy light. Even now, they hunt the ruins for survivors. I don't know what I expected an immortal being to be like, but Jacob seems so... human. The things he must have seen over the years, all that experience and knowledge, it's difficult to fathom. And yet, he lied to his own people for generations, all for the sake of this secret. What wonders will be unlocked with the Divine Source? Will humans finally understand the true nature of the soul? Or will it unlock some extraordinary new scientific discovery? One thing is certain. It's too important to allow Trinity to control. <laughs>